Good day, fellow noobs. Uh, today we're going to talk about what you can do if you want to record seconds in Excel. So as you know, or maybe it's totally new to you, there are shortcut keys for recording the date and time in Excel, which is, so to get the current date, uh, you can press Control plus semicolon, and then we'll get the day to day. And if you press Control sh plus Shift plus sh semicolon, you get the time today. So se the semicolon is if you're using a QWERTY keyboard, that would be the, the next character after the letter L. Now one, uh, if you notice the time itself, it's not recording the seconds, like here. So for example, let's change the format and say we want to have the second to show up. So for example, yeah, so like this one, the second is not recorded. Uh, let's say you, you want to record a second uh, so we're going to have to do this in VBA or we're going to have to create a macro so for this one if the developer tab is not visible here so click on file and then options and then customize ribbon and then click on developer click on OK and then you'll see the developer here and then we'll click on visual basic and then we'll get into a uh, module like this one and then let's start making the module so let's say sub record seconds then we'll, let's type active cell dot value equals time so for this one you can actually type just this but let's input a cell format also number format equals h mm ss AM, PM, so this will be the time format of how it will look like. And then let's close the uh, Visual Basic. And then let's try this. So we'll click on Macros and then Run. Alright, so for this one, it's now recording the uh, seconds. If we just did the Control Shift semicolon, it's not carrying over the seconds. Now, okay, let's try that again. So Macros and then Run. Right, so yeah, this one is carrying the second. If you want it to have a keyboard shortcut also, so let's click on macros, and here's our macro. So let's click on options, and so you can assign a shortcut key that, let's say you don't use. So for this one, I'm gonna try Control Shift H, and I'm gonna click OK, and then so every time I press Control Shift H, so it's now running that macro and it's capturing the seconds. So for practical purposes of this is for example if you you're making a time and motion study you can use this if you want to get the interval between uh, two time uh, values with including the seconds also you, so you can use this. Um, Alright, so that's it. I hope you find this useful. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to enter on the comments below. Thank you and a good night.